मेरे मिल इज वॉट इज मिल four parts d1 d2 d1 is the upper part d2 is the vertical part horizontal part d3 and again it turns to the left this is the d4 then the dj junction dj dj flexure okay what are the indications indications similar to uh, that there is a epigastric pain anorexia weight loss why anorexia weight loss it will be have to rule out any malignancy in the stomach okay and any anemia any heart burn case dyspepsia and uh, upper abdominal mass gi hemorrhage obstruction malignancies systemic diseases like tuberculosis motility disorders of gid in children indications reflex pelvic obstruction mal rotation especially newborn may if you are suspecting any obstruction uh, you have to see whether there is a pelvic obstruction that is a very common condition in children where the pylorus is a distal part of the stomach there is obstruction in the pylorus the stomach will be over distal Okay. Next, what are the contraindications? Same thing: perforation, any history of suspicion of, of uh, aspiration, large bowel obstruction, fistulous communication with any organs which uh, where the barium will leak into the other structures and there will be uh, inflammation. And recent biopsy may be usually avoided. Okay. Okay. Next preparation: same thing. Six hours fasting. We have to. Uh, 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 tell patient to avoid uh, smoking and in patients with gastrointestinal obstruction, prolonged fasting or IV metoclopramide and sometimes nasogastric intubation and aspiration of the contents may be necessary. Okay. Contrast medium same single contrast mainly we use 80 to 100 water soluble contrast we use in suspected perforation. Some doctors want any injury, any bullet injury or anything. They are suspecting perforation that uh, uh, stomach only. In that case, we have to give barium, but we won't give barium because barium will cause inflammation. So we give a water-soluble contrast. Water-soluble contrast is gastrographin. It's the newest one. It has written gastro micro. So this is a gastrographin. Actually, in our hospital, we don't give it. So we give a omnipack only. So gastrographin is the ideal water-soluble contrast indicated in case of perforation. Why? Because your viva will be affected, and your MCQ will be affected. In suspected case of perforation. Will you give barium or not? No, we won't give barium. We give a water soluble contrast gastrographin. So what you give means we uh, will do gastrographin. Next conventional 80 to 90 kV 10 to 11 contrast. Let us and patient lie down supine. This may and uh, we have to rotate the patient in clockwise. Okay. First uh, we'll give a contrast. It will fill the stomach. Okay. Fill the stomach. Then clockwise rotate. Come. उसमें क्या है बोलते टू अलाउ द कोटिंग एंटायर कोटिंग ऑफ द स्टमक वी हैव टू रोटेट द पेशेंट एक बार क्लॉकवाइज रोटेट करने के बाद पूरा पाइलोरस में आता पाइलोरस स्टमक विल बी लाइक दिस लाइक दिस पाइलोरस में आने के बाद फिर से विल रिटर्न एंटी क्लॉकवाइज देन पाइलोरस टू इट विल कम इनटू द ड्यूडिनम ओके अंडर टू टू टेबल ऑफ बेरियम इज गिवन स्पॉट फिल्म्स ऑफ द फील्ड अंडर वेरिंग ऑब्लिक्टी मे बी टेकन देन प्रोन ऑब्लिक राइट साइड Depends on the barium enters the duodenum through the pylorus. Okay, okay. Prone oblique. फिर से हम लोग एक बार clockwise करने के बाद फिर से prone करना होगा. Pylorus में आने के बाद prone करने के बाद it will go into the duodenum. Okay. Spot films of the duodenum will see loop can be taken. Next, more barium is given into the stomach wall. Gastric paralysis and the rate of emptying through the pylorus is observed. And that is also important. Gastric transit time बोलते हैं. कितना time में वो duodenum में जा रहा. That is also important. So we in we see the कितना फंक्शनिंग कैसा है गैस्ट्रिक पैरालिसिस कैसा है नेक्स्ट इन द इरेक्ट पोजीशन राइट एंटर ऑब्लिक व्यू ऑफ द स्टमक शोस इंसिजुरो एंगुलरिस एंड प्रोक्सिमल ज्यूरियम इंसिजुरो एंगुलरिस मींस एन एनुलस पार्ट है एंड ऑफ द स्टमक आई विल शो यू ओके दिस इज दिस इज द फंडस दिस इज द फंडस दिस इज द बॉडी दिस इज द पाइलोरिस पार्ट एंड दिस इज द ड्यूडिनम आई सॉ एगो ओके This is here only at the pylorus we have incisional angularis, then duodenum, then stomach. Okay, 
Next patient position first supine, arms are seen outside the radiographic field and we have to uh, apply gonadal shielding. Okay. This is a double contrast. Air mix ho kya hai that is a double contrast. If it is a complete white, it is a single contrast. Okay. And next right anterior oblique. First uh, supine mein ke baad, right anterior oblique. Right anterior oblique kya hai tha? Wo pylorus kya hai tha? Pura. Pyloric canal and duodenum bulb. Pura is a Okay. So this is a fundus body, anteropyloris, duodenum D1, D2, D3 and D4. Okay. This is a PA oblique stomach and duodenum. And next, left to posterior oblique. You have to just remember the names. Right anterior oblique karna. Next, uh, left to posterior oblique. Left to turn karna. Then, uh, Fundus pyloric canal, duodenal one, uh, have been seen without superimposition. Pile compress for kareta, left to posterior oblique, it will be opening up and not separate the dicta. Okay. Okay, this is the left to posterior oblique, where we can see separately pylorus, duodenum. Okay. Next, lateral. Uske baad lateral kareta, anterior and posterior also stomach, duodenal one, duodenal loop. Here. Lateral, if you see, the lateral. Uh, uh, this is the pyloric part, duodenum part. Okay, next left anterior oblique to demonstrate the lesser curvature. Okay, this is the left anterior oblique, and this is a completely prone, prone on the stomach. PAV. We have to just remember the order. Kitne kitne views? Wo likhe to bas hai can just uh, label and uh, what are the different views we take oh, look at the evaluation criteria we see the entire part of the stomach this is a body pylorus and we have to see whether uh, uh, is there any filling defect within or any ulceration which also shows like a filling defect or any mass which is shown as a filling defect normally contrast should completely fill the barium but when there is a lesion or any structure we will see some filling defects okay PA view is angulation there? PA view last minute. First we take a uh, AP view. Then we patient ko rotate the patient. Then we go to the patient. Then again oblique view. Left uh, posture oblique view. Then PA last minute. Angulation is oblique. Mein angulation is oblique. Mein angulation is oblique. You see, this image is angulation. Hai, later is oblique. Hai, angulation. Sir, is that usually how much time is Usually within. Uh, uh, 20 minutes may it have to come to the small intestine. But here I'm a barium mill may we usually evaluate up to part of the duodenum only. Okay, and uh, if we if we have to evaluate up to the uh, ileocecal junction, then it is called barium mill follow through. Barium mill only we evaluate up to the proximal duodenum. Okay, and advantage is patient who is immobile and unable to swallow gas forming tablets and uh, pyloospasm, fistula and enlarged gastric wave are best seen in this and filling defects, I said these are large masses and suspected gastric or urinal obstruction also can be seen. Okay. Disadvantage it is less sensitivity, smaller erosions, smaller lesions, subtle mucous abnormalities we usually miss. Okay. Double contrast, you can just mention about the double contrast. Because we usually do only in few cases, especially to evaluate with the smaller lesions. Because uh, uh, it is mixed with the air. I'll show you this uh, gas forming air. Ah, yeah. yeah, double contrast with air. Okay. And again, this is a single contrast. This is a double contrast along with the air. Okay?